All right, welcome back, folks. Tonight, I'm gonna be fishing with uh, cherry tomatoes. These are locally grown uh, from my backyard. And uh, yeah, there they are. They're kind of small for cherry tomatoes. Had a drought this year. Didn't get a very good crop of tomatoes. But uh, I think they'll make a pretty good fish bait. And I'm going to put them on the hair rig. Before I do that, I'm going to poke some holes just in the skin so that uh, kind of juices will kind of leak out while it's in the water. And the pack bait is uh, some uh, pineapple oats pack bait. Um, it's at least a week old. This pack bait has been in the fridge. Uh, it's left over from a um, fishing trip that got cut short and got ran out of there by a thunderstorm. And uh, yeah, it's a week old. It's perfectly fine. It's a little mushier than, you know, the fresher stuff, but it's got all the same scent. And this will break down really good. When those sweet feed pellets turn into a, a, a powder, you can pack this stuff like concrete and it will still break apart in the water. So that sweet feed really helps, especially with the older baits, really helps with the breakdown. I'm just fishing uh, just a little mud hole tonight. Now it's not really tonight yet, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, but it's, it's dark, it's cloudy, overcast. We've had lots of rain the past uh, week or so. The water has cooled down quite a bit. I think that's gotten the, the fish out of their uh, dog days of summer uh, laziness. And it's also gotten me out of my dog days of summer uh, laziness. Because the past, I don't know, three, four weeks, I've been pretty much restricting my fishing to either uh later in the evening when it's not so hot or uh places where there is shade where i can be in the shade while i'm fishing because it's just been so blasted hot and humid and that just makes it not very fun and that's the whole point of this fishing is for it to be fun so if it's not fun then what's the point right all right here's the uh, rig for tonight pack bait i just told you about on a 99% rig and a couple of cherry tomatoes on the hair rig. You might think that this uh, hook bait's a little too big and uh, that's okay, I don't mind. I might think your hook bait's a little too small. So let's catch some fish. Jesus, that's deep out there. I didn't think it was going to be that deep right there. It's right next to the bank. I must just drop off like a 30 foot cliff right at the bank there. <clears throat> and I just got a double tomato on that one rig. I'm just running a single tomato on the others. Uh, I just had the hair a little bit too long on that, on that rig. I tied it a little bit too long. I'm betting this is going to be the lucky rod right here. Not lucky rod, just lucky spot. I think that the place where I casted this bait is the best spot from places that I can fish right here on the bank. Of course, I'm getting a bite on that one right now. This is bluegills. And if the fish don't want to bite on the cherry tomatoes uh, today, I've got another secret weapon bait that I'll switch it over to which never fails but I want to try these tomatoes first it's really muddy here everywhere just because it's been raining so this is a good opportunity to see Tom fall down we'll see what happens here I'll try not to but you never know something's messing with this middle rod here nuisance fish bass Bass and 
bluegills and crappies probably. Yes. Swimming at me, swimming at me, swimming at me. Oh. Uh, no longer swimming at me. <laughs> I gotta check that hook. See how clean that feeder is? Mm, it's sticky sharp. Might have been just a bass. That was only uh, in 10 minutes. Only had the baits in the water about 10 minutes, so that's a good sign. I like that. These crappies are getting pretty annoying, or bass, or whatever they are. I think if I don't catch any carp here tonight, I'm gonna come back here tomorrow with a worm and a bobber and a spoon. And uh, I'm gonna catch a bunch of those crappie and I'm gonna eat them. I kind of hooked something here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. There is a fish on this line. And something happened. It got snagged up in something. There we go. He's out. Pretty sure there's some old uh, mining equipment in the water down there, cables and such. I'm gonna bet this is a catfish. I'm not even gonna bring my net down there with me. I'm so sure. It's a nice channel cat. If I was keeping fish today, I'd keep that one. It's a perfect size. And nice. It's a nice two and a half pounds or so. He's gonna get to live today. Bye bye. Yeah, that should be stabbing in my finger. Need a new hook. All right. It's been like two hours since I started. No fish since that last catfish. Time to get out the secret weapon. And this is spicy sriracha corn. And it's just a uh, boiled feed corn that's been soaking in some sriracha sauce, kind of watered down a little bit to make it a little uh, thinner. It's been soaking hmm, about a week. It only gets better with time. And there it is. I've had some really good luck with uh, spicy baits. And uh, they're quickly becoming my favorite uh, thing to use. This is spicy feed corn. Spicy tiger nuts work good too. Get this out there. We have a guest. Blue heron. I can just 
standing there at the edge of the water, holding real still. Came flying in a few minutes ago. Probably looking for some of them bluegills. Little fish that hang out by the edge of the water there. Cool bird. It's pretty awesome when they um, when they take off. They make a big squawk like ah, and they start flying off. Pretty cool. It'd be cool to see this guy uh, get himself a fish. up from my chair and uh, walked over to point the camera at him. He didn't seem to be bothered by that. Mm, big fish just splashed over there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just cast this out. Just set it down. Um, I think it's a real fish this time. I don't know what to make of this. It's not fighting very hard, but it's pretty heavy. And it's just slowly cruising off to the right. It's definitely not a catfish. They're usually shaking their heads and... This guy's getting in my other line over here. Oh yeah, it's a carp. It's not a giant, but it's a nice one. I guess I forgot to put the net cam on today. So this guy must have just followed it right to the bottom. I casted that out. It hadn't been in the water even 30 seconds. I was just getting the rod set down, getting the drag set. I must have seen it splat, heard it splash or seen it, chased it down. Got him. Well, first fish of the day. Long, slender torpedo carp. Probably only, I don't know, three pounds or so. Just a little guy. So long and skinny though. It's kind of cool. Total torpedo. I just had that secret weapon, the spicy corn, in the water for about 30 seconds. He gobbled it right up. Let's put them back in the water. Go get bigger. See ya. Well, of course I'd catch the tiniest carp in the pond. I've been sitting here seeing really big fish busting the surface. Uh, Saw a couple of really big grass carp and commons too. They're in here. I don't know what's up with this. I can't, I just can't catch them at this place. I'm gonna keep trying.
Okay. That was another quick one. I just put this uh, bait out there in that spot. As I was setting this rod down, I saw a giant carp just stick its face and its dorsal fin out of the water and look at me and be like, hur, hur. the bass and the crappies or whatever it is that's messing with me have just been, uh, just keeping me, I mean, both my lines over here are completely slack right now because 10 seconds after I straighten it out, all right, we're snagged. There's some stuff in the water here. I've been snagged here before. I'm just going to leave the bait runner on, stand here for a minute. See if that fish will swim out of whatever it went around. Still on there. Alright, this fish is... Not going to be recovered. Probably got off already anyway. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this is a bass or what's going on. I guess maybe I'm hooked up with something now. So just let them run for a long ways and see what happens. Dum -da -dum -da -dum, dum -da -dum. <laughs> Can you tell I'm getting a little frustrated with these nuisance fish? I am. And whatever was this, this was, is gone. <laughs> it's like, I got, okay, that's the only line I got in the water. Clearly that was a bass or something. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do this. I'm almost out of bait because I've been rebaiting like I don't know if every 15 20 minutes because let me show you yeah and see the problem is they're not stealing my bait but they're just messing with it enough to where it gets tangled up and hmm, I'm not sure what to do about this other than just move Oh, we got a double. Oh, ho, ho, ho. which one's bigger? I'm gonna, oh no, did that one go? Yeah. Oh no, he's still on there. I think I'm gonna pick the one on the left. Bait runner on. Okay. I was kind of whining to myself in my head, whining about all these little fish stealing all my bait and feeding all these little fish not not catching the target species <laughs> now I got double guess I should shut up and be thankful all right I'm gonna get this guy in and then let's check out that other fish he's pulling drag up there still this is a better fish and that first, then those first two. I might have a triple here. My middle line has also gone slack. Ah! Man, this guy's not quitting. <clears throat> what a fight on this guy. Holy cow. Unreal. I'm gonna name this guy Net Dodger. He just dodges this net like, oh, he did it again. What in the world? 
Come on, get in there, net dodger. What? He is the best net dodger I have ever seen. Get in there. All right. Net dodger is in the net. He's going to stay in the water right there in the net. Let's go check out this other rod. This fish is still on there. Although I'm pretty confident he got into something. Yeah, I can feel it's rubbing on something. Unless this is a huge fish. That's possible. Better loosen up that drag a little bit. I, 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 oh, okay. Yeah. So I was snagged on something that was kind of close to me, but that this fish is way out there now. Somehow that snag, I got un, unwrapped around whatever I was snagged. Wrapped on. Here he comes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little smaller. He's about five, six pounder. I'm just gonna bring him in and get him unhooked right here on the edge of the water. There's that spicy feed corn right in his mouth there. Bye. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, folks, second fish of the night, or third, yeah, second, third, whatever. Largest fish of the night. I'm guessing this is going to come in, I don't know, seven, eight pounds maybe. But uh, what did I name this guy? Net Dodger? Yeah, he was a good net dodger. But uh, guess what? I'm out of bait. Those uh, nuisance fish have just been eating up my bait and messing up my rigs. I've used up all the bait that I brought tonight, and I, I didn't plan on that. So I guess I'm cutting this fishing trip short. Let this guy go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. All right, Net Dodger. Thanks for the fight. See you next time.